We'll guide you through how to connect an SD card to your iPhone and transfer photos and videos. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you need to identify what port your iPhone has. So the port is basically how you charge your iPhone. You'll either use a USB-C cable, which means you've got a USB-C port on your iPhone, or you'll use a lightning cable, which means you've got a lightning port on your iPhone. As you can see, the USB-C, this one here, is wider, it hasn't got any connectors on sort of visible, and it's also got a slot. If we go and look at the lightning cable, as you can see, it's solid compared to the lightning. It's solid compared to the USB-C, and also it's got those connectors there as well. And at the moment, only iPhone 15s and newer have USB-C, whereas older iPhones use lightning. Now that you know that, we can now work out what adapter we're going to need. So if you've got a lightning iPhone, you need a lightning to SD card, whereas if you've got a USB-C, you need a USB-C to SD card. So here's the adapter I use. It's kind of custom because here, I've just got a USB-C to USB-A, and then I've got a USB-A SD card reader. So this does sort of work together to make an, an adapter, but most sort of adapters you get online are gonna be all in one. So you're just gonna have a USB-C or lightning here and then an SD card slot. I'll put some links to adapters for both lightning and USB-C in the description, which will take you to Amazon. So go and get your adapter. And then what we can do is go and put the SD card in like so, and then we can connect it to our iPhone. I've now gone and connected it, as you can see. So go and click on Photos. And then at the bottom, as you can see, you've got this additional button which says Import. So click here, and this will then show you your SD card. So I can go and see these photos, and you can either go and import them all by clicking Import All in the top, or you can go and select a few to import, and then you can press on Import again in the top right and press on Import Selected. And they'll then be imported to your iPhone. And they'll be added to your photo library, but it is important to note that they'll be kept in the date that they were actually taken on the SD card, so you may need to scroll quite far back in your library. 